This guy is doing an actual tutorial. What's up everybody, it's the Big E. First and foremost, thank you for stopping by today's video. Thanks for stopping by the channel. If you enjoy the content, be sure to leave a like, a subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Today I wanna to show you guys how to do something. Now, although this is a tutorial, this is not a design specific tutorial. What do you mean by that, Aaron? So what we are going to be accomplishing today is to show you guys how to set up this, this right here to where you can see what I'm doing down here and you can see the cam and everything is connected in itself. So if you're going to put overlays and information, stuff like that, whatever you want to put, you can put it there again, just for clarification, I'm not going to show you how to design this, like, like how I designed it. I'm just going to show you how to make the structure of all this and then you can design it yourself you can do it your own way. If this video hits 100 likes, I will put a template download in the description of the video. How about that? Like a, just a basic structured template download. So you can just download it. You can design it the way you want to design it. Put it on there. Follow this tutorial. Bada bing, bada boom. 100 likes. It's yours. I'm gonna try to keep it minimal for you guys. So this is my current overlay for my streams. I have my webcam up here. I have my top 15 most recent donations here. And then right here, I have my highest bit donation or cheer. That name goes right there. Under here, that's where everybody gets to see the mouse and keyboard. So if you're watching me play Apex, Fortnite, whatever, mouse and keyboard, it's right there. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy my overlay or stop by one of my Twitch streams sometimes. So I wanted to create this tutorial to where it would give you guys options on whatever you would want to do or create in the way that you would want to create, right? I'm going to show you how to make the top frame, the bottom frame, and if you would like the toolbars as well. And then again, you can design everything out to your specific needs. So to start off, I have a new document. I just typically make these at 1920 by 1080 whenever I'm editing anything that will actually go on the stream itself. So if I'm editing overlays, cam overlays, any kind of information loops or stuff like that, I will just make a standard video 16.9 document. So if you're gonna design your overlay as well, I typically like to bring in a game image to put in the background just to design over it. And then what I usually do is I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, just to make that background out of focus. So that way I'm more focused on the webcam overlay in itself and not what's going on in the background. So again, this overlay concept has two to three basic builds, top frame, bottom frame, and middle bar. What we're gonna do first in the document is we're gonna go over here to the left side to the rectangle tool. We're gonna click that and then we're just gonna left click on the screen somewhere and that will bring us an option to just create it at a set standard size. For the top box, we're gonna use a size of 1030 by 580 and we're gonna click Okay, I'm gonna drag that to the center of the screen right here. And then while having the rectangle tool on the left side selected, I'm gonna go up here, you'll see fill and stroke. I'm gonna click on the fill box. I'm gonna take away the fill. I'm gonna click on the stroke box. I'm gonna pick a color and I'm gonna do a pixel of 20 and hit enter. Now again, this is just one of my branding colors that I use. You don't have to specifically use this color. If you want to start off with a black cam overlay, a white, whatever you want to do, this is where you can pick your colors, do what you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right side here in my layers on Photoshop and on rectangle one, which is the top frame that we just made. I'm going to name this main frame just to stay organized. So that way I know that's where my actual cam will go. Now I'm going to make sure my rectangle tool is selected. Still, I still have my stroke selected and I have a 20 pixel pixel thickness. I'm going to, again, left click on the screen. We're going to do this one at 1030 by 350. Now for the hand cam, the height, you can pick whatever you want to pick based on your cam. I just did 350 because I like to have like kind of like a tighter webcam. So that way I'm just showing my mouse and keyboard in the frame instead of taking up more room of the gaming screen in itself. I like to just have a little hand cam overlay and my big webcam overlay. So again, the size that I chose, it's 1030 by 350. That will create a new box. I'm going to drag that over to the center right underneath the main frame. And I'm going to call this hand frame. Hit OK. I'm going to drag that down. Again, I like to just stay organized. Now, here's why I like to build it like this, because if you want to have options to do things differently in your way, this is where you kind of do things your way. Maybe you don't want your cam frame to be one connected frame. Maybe you don't want the bottom one 
to be the same width. So if you click on the hand frame, hit control T, and by holding on the alt button, you can like drag that in. You can make that smaller. You can make it shorter. Maybe you want your hand cam to just look like that and you don't want a connection bar and any information there. Maybe for some reason you want your hand cam on top of, of the cam. Maybe you want it connected just by this little bar by holding on shift. You can bring it straight up and line it up with that bar. And maybe that's the setup that you want. You just want a tiny little cam for this. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna keep it how I've been explaining it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure rectangle tool is selected again. I'm going to go on my screen, left click. This one we're gonna do 1030 by 50. And again, you can control these thicknesses yourself. That's why I wanted to make it in like a, a three piece series. So that way you guys can figure out what you wanna do yourself. Now what I'm gonna do since this is like the information bar is I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm going to select my fill for this one with the color that I want and my stroke I'm going to deselect with that and I'm going to just center this bar up right here with everything else and we're going to rename this info bar and drag this in between the hand frame and the main frame. So here you have your main frame, then you have your info bar, then you have your hand frame. And at this rate, you can control like how thick you want your bar. Maybe you don't want it that thick. So you bring it in a little bit. And then to be able to edit all these, what you want to do is you want to select your main frame, hold on shift, then click down to your hand frame or by holding on control, you can click on each individual layer, select them all. When you have all the layers selected for your cam overlay, hit control. Control G and you will create a group for it and just call this cam setup. So that way it's your complete cam setup. If you want to change colors, if you double click on that cam setup, you can do color overlay, you can do gradient overlays, changing different gradient tones, whatever you want to pick for your personal setup. So say with the whole entire cam setup, you create this gradient overlay, right? With this, with this like bright blue outline. Now what you can do is you can go to your cam setup layer and click this little arrow to open it up. You can go on top of mainframe, hit control shift N, call this cam accents. If you want to add like little tiny like corner pieces and stuff like that, you can go over here to polygonal lasso tool, zoom in a little bit, find maybe an area. And then using this polygonal lasso tool, click in one area, hold on shift, bring it over to the corner, click again, bring it down while still holding shift, click again, let go of shift, make like a cute little angle right there and then connect the dots. And then while having your cam accents layer selected, you can, you can go to edit fill or shift F5, select foreground color, control D to deselect. And now you have this like cool little, little like accent piece. Let's do that one more time for the bottom. Again, I'm going to select the polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to find a little gap right here. I'm going to click on that, hold shift, come in the corner, find like an even spacing, click again while still holding on shift, bring it all the way in click again while still holding on shift and then letting go of shift I'm going to find like a little center corner right here click again and then I'm going to complete the selection by finding the end there and seeing that little circle click that again edit fill or shift f5 foreground color okay control d to deselect and now you have like this little accent right here so what you do is you just control j to duplicate that control t to select that right click flip horizontally and then while holding on shift you just drag that bad boy over to where it looks center and now you got these cool little accents if, if you really want to now what you could do is like edit stuff on top of the cam overlay in itself so if you hit this little arrow over here for the cam setup layer it will just select it all to be one layer click the rectangle tool and, and bring in a, a little box for you a little information box just find your center there you just put cam info one two or three for how many little panels you make on top of the cam overlay. So for example, for this one, I'll just hit control J twice while holding on shift, find the center, rename this to cam info two and then cam info three. So basically if you wanted to have some information on your cam overlay itself, maybe this box right here be your recent subscriber. Maybe this box right here be your recent follower and this box right here be your donation. You can make your little icons whatever way you want. Again, I just wanted to give you guys ideas on how to structure Structuralize this, how to just create this so that way you can make it yourself and that you're not trying to just make designs like somebody else. Lots of tutorials on YouTube of 
how to design something. I just wanna give you guys the ability to make this yourself. But at this point, you've created your cam overlay. You messed around with the designs, you've, you've manipulated layers, you've had fun. Now you have your all-in-one cam and hand cam overlay. What we're gonna do next is we're going to make sure all the background layers are not selected. So that way you see this nice little transparent thing here. And the only thing you see is the webcam overlay in itself. You're going to go file, export, save for web, save it as a PNG 24, save it in whatever location that you need to save it in. So once you have OBS open and you got your cam done, you wanna bring in your cam overlay first. So what do you wanna do is you go to sources, click this add or right click and click add and go to image. Just call this cam overlay, find where you saved your cam overlay. So now I got my cam overlay in here. Now I want to add my hand cam. Now what I use for a hand cam is just a 1080 Avermedia Media webcam. It's just literally on top of my monitor right here. Let's actually add that and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So again, go to this little plus icon here to add a video capture device. For me, I'm gonna select my live streamer cam 313. For resolution and FPS type, I'm gonna put custom and I'm just gonna do my 1080. Your cam might be 720 or something like that. Now I have my hand cam layer here. I'm going to move that down to my mouse and keyboard. I'm going to drag that layer below my cam overlay layer. What I'm going to do on the hand cam is I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to transform. I'm going to flip it horizontally. And again, I'm going to right click on that transform and I'm going to flip it vertically. This is only if you have your hand cam facing right above backwards. If you somehow can put your hand cam right here, then you don't need to flip it. And I'm just going to drag that here and find where the center would be to where somebody can see my mouse and keyboard within the frame that I made. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this area here and like this area down here. So right click on hand cam, go to transform, click on edit transform and you want to crop your top and bottom so for me i want to bring it all the way up to where you see kind of like the the flower tattoo on my arm so i think it's around like 200 or so or like 2 225 and this will basically crop that area down there I'm gonna drag that back up to to center it this is where it's going to be kind of like your guys's thing okay that should be good that's where it kind of captures both and then now i need to crop the top of that and I'm just going to click and hold that arrow key to where it brings it underneath that bar, that information bar there. So now I have my cam overlay. I've now transformed my hand cam to be this tiny little box here. Now basically I have to get my face cam inside this box. So all I do right now is I just click, drag. Now at this time, what you can also do is if you have the recent donation thing scrolling, you can put that in your area. Your most recent sub, you can put that in your area. These little information boxes right down below. And then now to make it an all-in-one thing so you can just move it all around at once is you want to go to this plus arrow here, click group, rename your group, cam setup. I'm going to hold on control and click on every one of those layers. And I'm just gonna drag them up into that cam setup. And then now the cam setup is just one layer. So that way, if you wanna just move around everything with all its information, make it nice and small, make it really big for a certain overlay, put it in, in this corner, put it in that corner, whatever you wanna do, you can do it all at once. And now when you're playing and stuff, moving around, doing your thing, within your 90s on Fortnite, you can show it all off right here. So honestly, a pretty basic build. You, you create your cam overlay in Photoshop, you bring it in here, put it all together, and then you just group the layers all into one and you're done. You have a, a cool cam overlay and you can be flexing in your live streams in no time. All right, gang, that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you had questions on anything, something didn't come out, leave it in the comments down below. I'll try my best to answer. Subscribe, turn on those notifications. Be sure to stop by a live stream sometime. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out. Peace.